Welcome to BrainFlow TV and we're going to be cooking today. We're going to be cooking some Escovich fish, traditional Jamaican fish uh, dish along with some okra and laying it on a bed of white rice. What you're looking at now is the sped up process but throughout this video we're going to be taking you along for the ride and maybe you can cook this for dinner today. Here you see where I've done the Escovich process and this is what your dinner should look like if you decide to follow this video and cook this for dinner today. Very delicious meal, I might add. A little word of advice for the people who are insulin dependent or diabetic, you might want to stay away from the white rice, but you can substitute it for brown rice or bulga, but the fish is always good and the okra is beneficial. So here we have my ingredients. I start out with some oil. Note the kind of oil I'm using, right? We prefer to use olive oil and we got to have the scotch bonnets. Uh, if you don't know it, pepper is good for your circulation anyways. Too much can cause stomach ulcer though and not everyone can handle hot peppers. These are very hot peppers even though they are hotter. Got to have the okros right so these are the basic ingredients of this dish and of course in the sink you see the raw fish I'm washing the fishes with lemon lemon juice just to take away the riceness the rawness from it it's fish it's going to be fishy it's supposed to be fishy right and so after washing and cleaning up the fishes I have a scissor that I use and what I do is I remove as you can see here, I'm removing the all the gills and that thing on the back that if you go against the grade of it, remove the tail as well. Even though sometimes we do cook it with the tail. Now if I'm deep frying a fish, I don't mind getting it with the tail because you can actually eat that as well. It just crumbles in your mouth. But at this point, I'll go ahead and remove all the extra pieces hanging off the fish. I just want the body of the fish, right? To include the head, of course, a lot of people, <laughs> when they get a Jamaican dish, I've seen my friends from other countries get a fish dish from a Jamaican restaurant, and they're kind of appalled at times, because one of them said, hey man, I opened the box to eat my food, my fish, and I'm thinking fish fillet or deep fried like catfish like back home. I see this big old eyes looking at me. <laughs> so yes, we do cook like that thing right there. You want to remove that because that can poke you in the mouth, right? So notice how I remove it. But yeah, the buddy of mine said the eyes, that was a turn off just looking at him. But he ate it anyways and it was good. He just would have appreciated if the head was removed. Well, in the Caribbean, not just Jamaica, we tend to fry the whole fish and the head is good we even have a special use for the head because you can use it in a fish tea is what it's called alright and I might do one of those videos for you one day so for for men who are uh, weak like your body is not performing up to par I mean we all get there living given a stressed out life we live most of us anyways trying to accomplish things your body starts getting ran down and because you're not getting all your vitamins A to Z in your daily meal, you know, sometimes you forget you're only human and then your body starts to show you signs. So to put some health back in your body then, I would say, I'll show you how to make a fish tea one day, right, with the okros and the fish head and all that stuff. But today we're dealing with the Escovish fish meal. All right, and as you can see, the process is like this. I'm cleaning it up. It's a tedious process, but it beats eating fast food because you know where your food is coming from. You know you're eating fish. You know what kind of fish it is. You know it's clean because you cleaned it yourself, that kind of stuff. So I encourage people to eat at home more often. Plus, this is something that you can do as a family. Actually, if you're a small family or large family, get the kids involved if you have children. Let them get in touch with eating or preparing their meals and then eating them. 
So I took my son to Jamaica and uh, he started naming all the chickens. I always tell this story, but I had to let him know that those chickens were actually going to be dinner. And my grandfather cooked chicken soup that day, but I had taken my son out shopping so he did not see when the chicken was being slaughtered, right? And I wish he had. But on the next trip, I'll make sure that he sees that if we want chicken, then we have to kill a chicken, right? So he appreciates real food versus processed food. So once the fish is cleaned up, you put it in a sink, right? This is how I do it. I put it in the sink. I put those slices along the sides of the fish so the seasoning could soak in. Now, this is the part where you can get original and creative. Some people stuff seasoning in there, like they cut up thyme and scallions and whatnot and stuff it in there. For this video, I just have some simple lorry seasoning and I just put it in every pore, every core, every opening part. Now it's on the stove. My oil is well hot. You get the oil ready first and then you drop it in there. And of course you can see it's changed color. The fish is no longer red, right? even though these are red snappers once you start to fry them they'll no longer be red and you get a nice crisp on the outside of it now right here all I'm doing here is I'm getting my other ingredients ready so my onions of course gotta have your scotch bonnets and like I said before the scotch bonnet pepper is good for circulation you don't want to use too much hot sauce from bottles because if you read the ingredients on those right their uh, sodium contents probably high and it has a lot of other stuff in there that has nothing to do with the pepper so here is just pepper and there I am I'm working the stove you don't want you don't want to leave it on one side too long so it burns or sticks to the bottom of the pan. You want to flip the fish from side to side. Oh, there's another thing in Jamaica. Um, they use the word fish to describe certain types of people. So I don't want people to come to my video and say, oh, you should have used the other word, which is swim around. So fish or swim around, that's not a part of how I speak. So if I say we're talking about swim around, we're talking about fish or fishes. If I say we're talking about fish, we're not talking about those other people. <laughs> we're talking about the fish that swim in the sea. Okay, and that's what we're cooking here today. So I got to hurry up, get my ingredients ready. And once it's prepared, this is what it looks like. So the fish is out the pot and I wrap it in foil paper. I'm going to sprinkle some vinegar on here. That's what you won't see. So that's the pepper and the onions and for and I'll, I'll save two of those which could be eaten at a later date and here I'll put two in a pan right and I'm gonna make some tomato sauce and all I needed was some ketchup in a cup with a little bit of water that's it a little bit more seasoning to flavor cut my okra up in there and let it simmer and you only want it to simmer for about five minutes on a medium high. You don't want to do it too much because okros are very easy to steam and they can get soggy and sappy and taste not so good. But I like a little crunch to my okro. And since the fish, the fishes were already cooked, you just need that sauce to soak in, right? And of course, there's the rice. It's ready to go, hot and steaming. And I could show you how to cook that as well. It took me a while to learn how to cook rice properly. My wife, she's very good at it. But I think I've learned from her and I'm doing better. So my rice is not as soggy as, <laughs> as it used to be before. And when you're done making this dish, this right here is what that plate of food should look like on your table. Enjoy. Enjoy.